Welcome back, my friends. Half my brain tied behind my back. Always, just to be fair. And we go next to Rochester, New York. This is Steve. It's great to have you, sir. How are you doing? Very good. Thank you. This is the best birthday present ever. Well, we happy talk- birthday. Is your birthday today? Yes. How old are I you? I am 64. 64 years old. Congratulations. Which is how I know what I know. I used to listen to you before. Uh, old Mick from the High Mountains used to call in with his favorite stew recipe. <laughs> Mick from the High Mountains of New Mexico. Yeah, he was great. He was. So, sadly, no longer with us. No. Anyway, in the first hour, you said that you never asked us to call in. But we had. You asked us to call in sometime in the 90s, and for the life of me, I cannot remember what it was. But you want to show Congress what would happen if we did, because they had kept saying that Rush uh, is telling his people to call in, and that's why we're getting so many calls. You have an excellent memory. He is exactly right. I, forget, I, I think it was on a budget deal or something going on, and, and, and I made it a point when this program started not to use activism. I was not the guy telling you to cut up your credit card and send them to Mobile or Exxon. I, I, I did not urge people to call Washington. I didn't want it to be seen as, as, as artificial. And yet the media kept explaining overrun phone calls in Capitol Hill because I was telling my audience to call. So one day, for a journalist, it might have been Howard Feynman Newsweek. I've, it was Steve Roberts. Steve Roberts, who is the husband of Koki Roberts at ABC News. That's exactly right. Steve Roberts, I said, let me show you what will happen when I do. And I did. He's right. One day, I urged everybody to call Congress about something there and shut down the Capitol Hill switchboard. You are exactly right. And to this day, I get requests from individual members of the House and Senate to do it, and I don't do it. <laughs> I don't do it. Because it's, it's once, once a bunch of phone calls can be uh, said to be artificially generated by a talk show host, then they're discounted. And that I don't want. Look, it's your birthday here. I want to give you the opportunity of some gifts. Would you like a new iPhone? Oh, wow. Um, Yeah, great. Sure. (laughs) I have a bunch of them. I have an iPhone 8 Plus or an iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 is the hot shot. That's the newest. That's state of the art. I assume that's what you want. Oh, yeah, fabulous. Thank you. All right. Now, I'm also going to give you a one-year complimentary subscription to the Limbaugh Letter and the Rush 24-7 website. So, Whoa. that's right. Happy birthday. Hang on just a second here. Do not hang up because Mr. Snurdly needs to get some questions answered to you about your carrier and your address to send this stuff to you. In the meantime, we'll take a brief time out. Be right back after this. Don't go away. 